Throughout history, the world has witnessed the effects of diseases, especially infectious diseases are of great concern as they bear the potential to turn outbreaks into pandemics. Diseases like malaria and HIV cause many thousands of deaths, large-scale suffering and social disruption, in particular in Africa, Asia and South America. The recent outbreaks of SARS and bird flu put governments all over the world on alert, taking costly measures that interfered with daily life of millions of people. New diseases can appear any time naturally, but intensive farming, overpopulation, climate change and excessive use of antibiotics are now posing increased risks. The resulting human, social and economic costs can be huge, as shown by the recent example of the swine flu. To fight disease, it is essential that we understand it at a fundamental level. New research in structural biology allows us now to unravel the secrets of biology and diseases in ever higher detail. As an example, you can follow here how flu virus particles move towards the living cell after infection. Once the virus particles reach their target cell for attack, they invade it by crossing all over the cell membranes. Inside the cell, the virus starts a destructive series of actions. First, the virus particles move towards the cellular nucleus. The cell nucleus contains the host's genetic material, which is what the virus needs for its own reproduction. Once close to the nucleus, the virus releases its own genes. The genes then enter the cell nucleus and take over the biological systems in normal healthy processes. The virus uses the resources of the host to multiply its own genetic material. Its genes are read and duplicated to create new copies of genetic material. This material is then exported out to the nucleus to make the next step of its reproduction. Step by step, the virus now produces proteins and other biological compounds that it needs to form new and complete virus particles. After producing all the necessary compounds, new virus particles are assembled. These then leave the cell ready to infect more cells and hosts while using energy and causing damage, leading to sickness or, in severe cases, death. Many of these processes can be studied at the microscopic level, but for deeper understanding it is essential to study biology at the level of molecular structure and interactions. The world of atoms and molecules, the world of structural biology. Structural biology includes a large amount of powerful research techniques. Among these techniques, biological nuclear magnetic resonance or biological NMR is of great importance to reveal the secrets of life at the molecular scale. Biological NMR uses the same principles as magnetic resonance imaging or MRI in hospitals. However, instead of making images of the body, compounds like proteins or DNA are inserted into large magnets. Electromagnetic radiation is then sent onto the compound, which sends back signals that reveal the molecular structures. Step by step, information is obtained that we use to make accurate 3D models, adding more and more to our understanding of life and disease. Europe has a strong tradition in nuclear magnetic resonance and has been at the frontier of this field of research with several Nobel Prize laureates. Some of the best institutes in the world have now joined forces with a bio-NMR project. The bio-NMR project aims to further structural biology research and its partners are providing expertise and facilities to institutes all over Europe. In particular, bio-NMR invites researchers from the new EU member states to its facilities to facilitate and raise the level of their research, to initiate new collaborations and to increase the knowledge about structural biology. Bio-NMR invites educational and research institutes, health organisations, policy makers and industry to invest in open new areas of research, to stimulate innovation and economic activity and to help meet global challenges of our time using the power of structural biology.